It is our immense pleasure to welcome you to a 3D walkthrough of the gallery devoted to the 11th President of India, former Secretary to the Department of Defence Research and Development Organisation and the Chief Architect of India's Missile Programme, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. The gallery was inaugurated by Honourable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi on the 84th birth anniversary of Dr. Kalam at this DRTO complex, New Delhi. This exhibition delineates his entire life from the early years when he always dreamt of flying as birds did over the ocean in his beloved hometown Rameshwaram. He went to Schwartz High School at Ramanathapuram to St. Joseph's College, Trichifa College and to Madras Institute of Technology for studying aeronautical engineering. His career as an aeronautical engineer began at St. Mary Magdalene's Church in Thumba, which nursed the Indian space program in its infancy. Dr. Kalam made significant contribution in successfully developing India's first indigenous satellite launch vehicle, SLV-3, that put Rohini satellite in the near-Earth orbit, thus making India an exclusive member of the Space Club. He was also behind the evolution of ISRO's launch vehicle program, particularly the PSLV configuration. Having realized the country's launch vehicle technologies at ISRO, Dr. Kalam conceived the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program for developing strategic missiles, tactical missiles and anti-tank guided missile. This has resulted in the birth of other programs like ballistic missile defense and development of air-to-air -air missiles. This is where he was given the sobriquet of the Missile Man of India. As the chief of DRDO, Dr. Kalam was influential in the development of many systems in various fields like aeronautics, combat vehicle and engineering, radars and electronic warfare systems, armaments, naval systems, and sensors and life sciences. This section showcases the critical technologies that were indigenously developed by India. A very interesting aspect of DRDO is the defense technology spin-offs which are being extensively used for the benefit of the society. As the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, APJ Abdul Kalam became the first Indian President to visit the Siachen Glacier, the highest battlefield in the world, to motivate the soldiers and to fly in the Sukhoi 30. He said, the dream I saw has been fulfilled. Dr. Kalam was much more than a political figure. He was a scientist, writer, inspirational speaker and a motivational figure. Dr. Kalam advocated India's sovereignty and global peace in a number of international forums. This part of the exhibition is aptly entitled as Inspiring Lives, but that is exactly what Dr. Kalam did through his various interactions with people from across the spectrum for the empowerment of people of India to realize his vision of developed India. Dr. Kalam was always of the view that the change can be brought by children and had met and interacted with number of children. He is fondly remembered as children's Kalam. Renowned as the most distinguished scientist of India, Dr. Kalam has the unique honor of receiving honorary doctorates from 48 national and international universities and institutions to his name. He has received a host of prestigious awards like Padma Bhushan, 
Padma Vibhushan and the Bharat Ratna from India and many awards from abroad. He articulated his thoughts through his numerous books. Popular among them are India 2020, Wings of Fire, Ignited Minds, My Journey and Target 3 Billion. He even wrote some poems in Tamil in English. My Mother being the poem that Kalam wrote in the memory of his mother. A man who loved teaching, writing and always wanted to give something to the society. Kalam was one of the few outstanding scientists who made a trademark in India and all over the world with his thoughts. He was a man of integrity, having exceptional qualities that India has ever produced. Jai Hind.